Max Pacific is the newest master toy partner for Sonic the Hedgehog, only having the license for over a year and hmm, this sounds familiar. Jack Specific is the newest master toy partner for Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh yeah, that's why. Okay, so in my last video, I talked about the history of this Sonic the Hedgehog toy line by Jack Specific. So I'll make it brief. Jack's first year was a bit of a rough start with the distribution problem, use of many figures instead of articulated figures, but the plushes were really good and also the pinball set was... Alright, in 2020, they released Sonic Movie merchandise, new plushes, and of course, articulated figures. In my last video, I reviewed the 4-inch Sonic, but Jax also had a 2.5-inch wave. With that being Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Metal Sonic, and Chow. That's right, a freaking Chow. As well as this Green Hill Zone playset, which is what we're looking at today. So is this playset actually worth the price of $20? Let's find out. Taking a look at the box, on the top it shows the new logo for Sega saying Go Sega and 60th Anniversary, with some warnings and that a Sonic figure is included in multiple languages. In the middle we have a nice render of Sonic, shows off the set and the play features that are in this set. On the bottom it has the Sonic the Hedgehog logo, 10 pieces in multiple languages, Green Hill Zone playset in multiple languages, and everything that is included in the set in multiple languages, as well as the Jack specific logo. On the right side of the package, it has the Sonic logo and a render of Sonic. On the left side, it has the Sonic logo and shows off the play features of this set. On the top, it has the Sonic logo and on the bottom, it has a whole bunch of copyright stuff. On the back, it has the Sonic logo at the top, Green Hill Zone playset in multiple languages, shows off the playset with 2.5 inch knuckles and tails, and shows off the play features. It also shows the figures of the 2.5 inch wave and the 4 inch wave. So, let's open this up. This playset is pretty good. Let's talk about the figure first, and I'm not a fan of this figure. The sculpt is alright, but it isn't as good as the 4 inch Sonic. The paint detail is alright, the face does look really good, the articulation is not very good though. Alright, so the head can slow side to side, the arm can move forward and back, but the left arm can get stuck on the leg because he has a sculpted L on his head and the arm can move out about that far, and the legs can move forward and back, and that that's it. I mean, the figure's alright, but the 4-inch figure's way better than this figure. I understand that it's a smaller figure, but can we at least have swivels on the hands and feet? C can we just get that? But let's talk about the actual playset. On the left, we have this little backdrop of green hills with some nice sculpting for the grass, but it does look like leaves, but it works, so I'm fine with that. It also has a peg, which there are 10 in this set. You are able to put figures on them as well as as well as well accessories, which this place that comes with three. We get gold rings. I, I lost the last ring. I, I don't know where a ring is. Uh, this That's not good. And there's nothing really that interesting to say about them. They're circular rings with peg holes. They come with the child figure as well, so they're not really that interesting. So... This set comes with a spring with no detail, but hey, it works. The last thing that comes with this is a loop, a trademark Sonic the Hedgehog item. The detail is alright, the top looks like leaves, but like I said, that's okay. But the play feature of this set is with the loop. You can put Sonic on a loop and make him run around the loop. So let's do some size comparisons. I don't like your ugly face. 
So overall, this is a pretty good set. The figures are a little bit disappointing, but the display looks fantastic and is a perfect way to display your Sonic figures. I hope they do more like these display sets. Imagine a chemical plant set or even a display set based on City Escape from Sonic Adventure 2. The possibilities are never ending.